were burned, King Henry pressed his advantage. Seizing key fortifications and buying the loyalty of powerful lords, Henry loosened his brother's grip over Normandy. At Tinchebrae in 1106, brother would fight brother for final claim to their father's lands. Greetings to you all and welcome back to Let's Play Age of Empires 4. We're here on the Norman campaign and it's time for the Battle of Tinchebrae. Spoiler from my history classes, I know nothing about this battle. So this will be an education for us all. Unless you know more than I do about history, which is very likely. Determined to claim Normandy and capture his brother, Duke Robert, King Henry besieged the castle at Tinchebrae. Not enough battering rams. No chance. The direct assault on the formidable stone castle was failing. Unable to breach the towering walls, the king devised a new plan to capture his brother. Actually build a decent number of battering rams this time. Cheer wildly in a neighbouring field. Henry would force Robert to defend his lands from attack by raising the villages of Martigny and Spren. Yes, this is this is getting dangerous. It will fall to me to pronounce French town names. This isn't going to end well. I said, you lead in your unarmoured horse, and I will follow in the rear, for I am the king. I'm the only one who can be revived, and that's why I sit at the back. Don't question it, I'm your king. Robert out of his stronghold, Henry's men would burn the village to the ground. Let's put a one over everyone's heads. That always makes them feel better. Makes them feel more important. Okay, I think we've won this fight, so let's get the archers to help down here. To be honest, I think we've won every fight. Miss Martigny will be mine. That's my attempt. I'm sticking with it. Treasure. I'll have some treasure. Yes, burn it to the ground. We could just capture it and use it for ourselves. Maybe build a nice army. Some, some more battering rams, for example. Look at all this lumber we could... You, never mind. Burn it to the ground. And this tent. Specifically this tent. You there. Get the chests. You there. Burn the house. Take their gold. We're cheering wildly whilst we do this. We are very proud of ourselves right now. You get a good example of just how bad archers are at destroying any kind of building. Even... What is this? Is this made from wood or is this... Is made from straw? It could even be less. It's got... Wooden foundations. Well, this is a nice bundle. But still, Robert did not emerge to face Henry outside the castle. Henry would have to raise the stakes. Next, he targeted the village of Fren. Fren, got it. I can pronounce that. Henry could buy reinforcements from nearby allies if he could procure the gold to pay them. It's a good thing they just left all of their gold laying around. Enemy relief army? Henry received Ooh, good lord. That Robert had sent for a fresh army to aid in defending his position at the castle. Henry had to eliminate these new forces before they could combine with the garrison at Tinchebrae. Okay, I've chosen my reinforcements. To his ally in men and received fresh reinforcements. I do like dismounted knights. I mean, it makes sense. I'm not going to say it doesn't. It's just not something you see often. 
Generally, they're referred to as footmen at that point. Is, are we setting up some amazing flank here, or are we just got no idea where the enemy is? Get in there, spearmen. Be defensively boosted, everyone. Some of you want to run a muck back here. That's got to be good strategically, right? In fact, some of you should probably get back there too. Oh, these guys are looking kind of routed. Fantastic work. It's almost like I went into that with some kind of tactics. I had to break it to you guys, but you've been defeated. The game says so. No survivors. No survivors. Run him down, men. And cheer. We're a happy bunch. Alright, friend. Let's see what you got. So that's copious amounts of farmland. Well, this just isn't going to work, is it? I see gold. It will be mine. That's what I'm here for. Forget the villagers. Now, I'll waypoint my attacks on each individual archer. That way you'll stop getting distracted. That actually worked. And now the archers will do the most useful thing they can. They'll collect the gold. We can't make campfires. Damn, I thought my units actually had a purpose in life, but apparently not. 500 gold. What are we getting? More knights? We're running out of horses. And to be honest with you, I've got enough archers. I could cavalry archers or cavalry infantry infantry, but... Ah, infantry feels pretty good, though. Some spearmen. But I'm so so low on knights. Give me some knights. Knights gives me footmen with it. It's a nice mix. Alright, how does it feel, Robert? I forgot who I was fighting. Okay. He's only my brother. You can't expect me to remember his name. That's a big army. Robert finally emerged from the castle to face his brother in open battle. I'm surprised that someone from Bayeux really wanted to help me out here, considering what happened in the previous mission. But I appreciate it. I'm not going to remember it going forwards. I will sack Bayer yet again. If I need to. That's a good formation. Looks like Robert is staying just outside his castle walls. He has some forward divisions that are off on the move. I'm going to hold this choke between this cliff and this tree line. I have so many archers, it seems beneficial to me to get a choke point to hold. Boost the army. Robert himself is coming, but deal with these first. Bit of archer combat over here. Fight strong, men. Fight strong. I don't really think I can do very much to help control this fight. I'll be honest. We're just kind of all in here. Are we winning? I'm not, not convinced we are. 
I'll be honest, if we don't win this fight, I don't know what we could do different. Okay, it's going to be a lot of kiting from here on out. This is again how it went down in reality. I don't think we're ever going to kill these. Archers oh, maybe not the best choice against knights, they're very heavily armoured. Unfortunately, I think my save is after I made my decision, but we'll see. We'll see. If I can respend my money, I'm going to get spearmen, I think, which also come with archers. Which are clunky, but what can you do? This gameplay tip is not very relevant to the current content. Settle in. It takes a while to load these games. Spearmen are the perfect counter to horsemen. Perfect. Perfection itself. I've already spent my money. Okay. At the hands of Henry's army, the village of Prem was in ruins. In that case, we're going to need a, a different strategy. Henry's provocations had paid off. Holding here was strategically the best place for me. I'm pretty confident in that. And it didn't work. So instead, I'm going to have to hope that if I hang back a bit, Robert will split his army up ever so slightly. And I can pick them off one detachment at a time. That's the strat. I'll look for some more gold while we're at it. Aha! Reinforcements await! I wonder if my soldiers wonder why we're still killing all these people, considering we've achieved our goal. Why can't I pick up gold anymore? Is it because you're on horseback? Okay, horses can't pick up gold. Damn, this game's so realistic. Any more gold? I'll take anything. I'm not fussy. Not sure why you had 100 gold. Random farmer. Maybe you were hiding it for the king. What if I just evade him? That's pretty courageous, right? Maybe I'll fight him in the woods. Henry sent gold to his ally in Brittany, and in return, a detachment arrived to bolster his numbers. Okay, he's just coming straight for me, isn't he? We're going to fight him in the woods for no apparent reason. You guys are idiots. Although, this could be our opening. Go, 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 go. Well, the rear detachment's distracted by the puny force. Well, we killed one scout, so that's pretty good. That's it. Bait them. Bait them into this corner. Okay, this is a plan. Kind of. So we're doing this, we keep a good number of the units busy, which allow us to make headway in defeating this squadron. Robert will be back soon. Who is this guy? You obviously don't belong here, mate. He was not prepared for these kind of strats. Neither was I, in all honesty. He's just got too many knights. I can't handle this. I feel like the archers need to focus on the archers. They do so little damage to knights, they may as well just attack something they can actually kill. I 
can't see my leader because you put the damn message over him. All right. Okay, it's closer. It's closer. It's much closer. So long as I've, I just keep reviving him on cooldown, we should be all right. Okay, it was definitely a good choice to aim at the archers with the archers. Your army's gone, man. Oh, I'm gone as well, but... Okay, it's one man versus 34 archers and an eternally reviving king. It's a very frightening place to be, Robert. Hello. Reinforcements have arrived. Good news. I'll put my cursor out the way. I don't want to distract you. The man was a fool. Apparently I can't get through this door. Just cheer for me on the inside. Huzzah. Wait, I captured my brother. Okay. He took all those arrows and he's still alive. Strong man. Maybe I can make him fight for me in the future. Hmm. Tempting. Tempting. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Except for people that studied history. We shall find out in the next episode. Hopefully you'll join me for that. And I shall see you then.